Good afternoon from the sunny-ish island of Gong Dao in Vietnam. Now, today was going to be a hiking day, but just up there you can see the blue skies. But over that way, all the way down, and that way as well, he's going to go hiking. It's very low cloud, so even if I went up to the top. I wouldn't be a sea a lot. So instead, I'm gonna head on the bike that I've got and still hiring, which is that little beauty there. And I'm gonna head off first of all to the Holy Cave. And then we're gonna have a little drive around the island to see what there is else that I haven't seen so far. So let's go to the Holy Cave. I've come up this hill already and I thought I'd stop here because in the last video I explained that Kang Dao is getting really big on uh, ecotourism and this is the national park for the ocean the forest and they do a lot of uh, marine turtle conservation work but there you've got a little history that the, the national park was conceived in 1993 which is quite on um, and they're doing a lot on this island for eco tourism. But the other thing I saw was this little uh, memorial here, and behind me there are monkeys in that tree. Um, just before I started filming, I heard a bit of rustling, and then a monkey came out of the tree, sort of stared at me, and then. And walked away in fact he's still there but there's a memorial here so this is um i don't want to move anything i don't know if you can read it uh, it says in 1930 french colonialists uh, forced servitude prisoners to carry rock for building this bridge to mount Chua over the process of servitude, suffering from the lack of food, from the brutal beatings of old jail keepers, from the severe climates and precocious terrain, and the constant fatal threat the prisoners near this bridge, Ma Thien Lan, place of unhealthy climate. Uh, so that's that bridge there. And I'm assuming Mount Chua is that one there. So this is the second memorial I've seen in this style on the island. So I'm assuming there's a, a couple more. So I'm just looking out for the monkeys. But then you've got this, and this is the entrance to the National Park. You've got various entrances all the way around um, the higher ground. Can we see any monkeys? Hello? Mr. Monkey Man. Nope. So the Holy Cave is up here. You have got a map. Which, even though there is some Westerners coming onto this island, and there is a bit of English on some of the signage, but I'm going to follow this road, follow the map. So we are here, and already there is a few bikes. So I'm not knowing what to expect here. Oh, there's a sign that says military area. There's a list of things that... So yeah, Holy Cave, the hedge tree is... Uh, the waterfall, I know, is dry now. And there's a beach, three kilometers. Uh, Please buy a ticket before entering Condo National Park. Right. 
Ah, that's my area, that way. Hi, Holy Cave? <coughs> yes. Is this way, yeah? yeah? Do I need a ticket? Or you get from there, for the Holy Cave, yeah? How much? 50,000. 50,000 for one? To go to the cave? That's expensive. Uh, oh, I did it. 50,000, I think that's 50,000 for entering the park and seeing everything. I just want to see the cave. Now the guy in the gate is military. Strange. There's a signpost there. Rot the NDL. It's this way. Rot, Grotto, Cave. Now, because you're in the National Park, there is monkeys for definitely wrong deer. So even though it is cloudy, it's still about 30 degrees. Uh, it's quite steep coming up. I am not the fittest I've ever been. And you've still got a little bit of go, there's some steps there. Now I'm not too sure if this is the only bam bam I know is from um, the Flintstones. All right, it goes in the ground, it goes in the ground. But I've not seen any monkeys yet. Bit too warm, and even though there's all them bikes outside, I've not seen anybody yet. Maybe they're all at the beach. Long walk just to go up to the beach lake. So I've climbed the stairs and the cave is a quite the sign. Okay. Uh, half a half a meter away. So I found a bench. <laughs> Thought I'd have a little rest before I climb these stairs. And then a little, little visitor came along who sat just over there, just staring at me for about five minutes. I try not to stare back. But I always thought monkeys came in sort of packs. But he's just there by himself. And he's going towards the cave. But I was just having a search online for uh, the Holy Cave. Um, oh, so it's Our Lady's Cave. And I'll tell you all about it when I get up there. So I just climbed all the stairs. Well, all the stairs, not that many, but it's enough to keep me going. And then I looked up and in the tree, and I'm not too sure if I can get close enough, but there is a lot of black squirrels. And you can see them moving. For just a hold it still. No, you probably can't see it. But I've counted about seven or eight of them. So the black squirrels aren't native to the island. 
and the pure black squirrels. A bit lower. I'm nearly at the top. Oh, I can hear singing. They've all finished singing and they've just all left. Um, and this is the holy cave. It's only a small area. There's Our Lady. Jesus in front. There's a unicorn, sorry, sheep. All very random. And then up of the cave. Eva Maria. I think the two girls are waiting, waiting to go in and, and pray. Which is why I was um, being quiet. <laughs> And just like that, all the all the singers have gone. Uh, yeah, that was a bit random. So the the ladies have left. Um, they've done their bit of praying, but I have found some stuff out about this place, and it's um, our Lady's Cave is where the French colonialists founded and placed a statue of Our Lady to pray during the years of occupation on the island. And this was during the 19th century. But previous to that, this is where the, the fishermen would come before they went out to sea. So I'm just, because I'm by myself, I can actually have a better look. Is that graffiti? Mercy, mercy. Yeah. But when you consider it's right in, this, in the middle of this national park. It's a bit, bit far to come and pray. If you're a fisherman, because it sees that way, all the way down. Fascinating. As I was coming up, I saw this, this sketching on the rock of the, the monkeys, 
we're going back down and I miss this coming up but there's a uh, there's your black squirrels so I've left the kid behind me and I was going to head back down but because it just cost me 50,000 dong to get in I might as well see a bit more of the national park now I think the the first touristy thing you can see is about an hour's trek and no nah, not for me I think I'll go as far as the next 10 minutes see what I can see see if there's any animals and then I'm going to head back into town and show you a bit more of Gandau so I've been walking for about 10 minutes and I think this is the end of the line for me but I'm on a concrete bridge uh, this might be a a waterfall of some sort but like you said it's the dry season so there's not a lot of water but just seeing these trees very curly and they are unusual There's a sign there. Oh, ah, Liana's big be Liana's begin life in the forest floor where only receives only one percent to two percent available sunlight. But they are much more clever than your average photosynthesis friends. Instead of building their own structures, they wind their way up those of other trees, knitting intricate webs between trunk and branches this method is so effective that sometimes these vine out completely the horse gathering more light than the big trees wow look at that that is impressive and even this root here or branch Goes along the ground. Wow. Nature, love it. And that was the Holy Cave. And yeah, the guy behind is uh, at the checkpoint, his military. So I wonder if this is a military position. There's another soldier over there. But I don't know if that's a camp. There are a few military uh, camps on this island. Be a nice poster for young young bloke. Come here. Hello. Right. Back in the bike. I'm back in town. And as you can see the sign behind is, it's Gandau. So what I'm going to do now is have a drive through the whole of the town just to show you how big it is. It's not that big. And if you ever find this, I mean, go to this coffee shop here. It makes the most amazing chocolate coffee that I've ever had. Mind you, I've never had many chocolate coffees in my life, but I've had one every single day since I've been here. How long have I been here? Three days. So I'm gonna get on the bike, just drive through, show you.
And that was town. Obviously you've got a few more streets going up and down, but that is the length of the town. It's not that big. It is quite small. It's it's really nice. Now I'm outside the hostel or the dorm room that I'm staying at. And this is the second place I've stayed at on the island. And the reason I'm staying here is because it's cheaper than the last place I was staying at. And more importantly, it's got aircon, so I'm just going to show you very quickly uh, where I'm staying. And uh, this is it. Just open the gates. So this place is run by an Australian guy and his wife. It is uh, he owns a bar restaurant in the town, and it's called The Den. They've only been here for just under a month. This is the common area. The room itself is 150,000 dong, which is cheaper than the last place. And you won't find this on Boots.com or Hostel World or any of the booking apps. Um, Cause you know, it's, like I said, it's only been open about a month. So if you do fancy coming in and seeing well, I'll show you the room first. It's really nice, proper mattresses, which is what we didn't have in the last place. Uh, there's a bathroom through there. The aircon is on, and you could feel it as soon as you walked in. So I, I will put the details of uh, Luke, the guy, into uh, the description. I'll put his WhatsApp number. If you ever come to this island, find out where uh, the dent is. Speak to Luke, he's a really nice bloke. And this place is just perfect for a backpacker. Um, but that is the end of the day. Now, if you are a regular follower of my channel, you'll know that I am, I put a, a a video out every single night but I'm gonna have a rest I'm gonna have two days off no videos at all no YouTube not thinking about uh, taking any videos for two whole days I'm gonna have a rest but if you've enjoyed this video you know you've got to press that like button if you want to subscribe because in two days time who knows where I'll be You've got to press that subscribe button. But in the meantime, it's bye-bye for now.